really dense. I feel like kids are yeah. running around. Yeah. I picked that up as you guys were heading over here. As you were he as you guys were getting ready to come over here. Um, they didn't uh, use all their juice on us straight away. We still got a few more hours. They still had the juice. juice. Whoa! There was no more juice. What? <laughs> and then just because right after we picked it up, that was when Simon went off. It all started with a video game. Oh god no! Oh! I'm running! I'm running! I'm springing! I'm springing! During the 2020 pandemic lockdown, I invited my buddy T to join me in Phasmophobia. And it was the lockdown diversion I needed. But as we were easing out of the pandemic, I got a phone call from Phil asking me, How would you like to do this for real? And now, here we are, just two dads living their best life while investigating the afterlife. top floor of the Jenny Way house and what I've done is I've put together a, um, a collection of clips. Um, is that one of your devices shining in the window? Yes, I believe so. I believe that's I believe that's glare coming from Yeah. And if it's not, it's glare coming from one of the street lamps down there. Oh you can also see the what Phil made on the right. Yes. You're yes. The the, 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 home, the homemade. No, it's the, the homemade. The homemade OSI. Uh, right, 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 right. That's REM actually pod. not homemade REM pod. I just put the sticker on it. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, better. <laughs> Boom. Better. Marketing. Marketing. Oh, yeah. Hashtag Boom. marketing. So, so this is a collection of clips where we had a camera on both uh, Simon and Fast Eddie. Now, this is Fast Eddie's second out. Oh. So he's brand spanking new. We're still figuring out how Eddie works. What do those lights mean? But I went on ahead exactly something. <laughs> but I went on ahead and I put together a quick compilation of clips so you can see what oh. what it was, These how, how active they, like, it was. Are they coming at us? All? Not that not that fast. <laughs> they got really big. Uh, Just keep an eye on Eddie and, and listen for him. Oh, I see. I'm just going to show you. That's good. Because we're we're fiddling with Big G. Meanwhile, so what? It, it was too flat. Oh, yeah, right. and the flux went off. Thank you so much for. I don't like that chair. Just saying. Come into your space and letting us be here and check things out. I mean, I don't think that we're that just here to connect. Yeah. We oh, like that. Okay. We're here to connect with you. We're here to learn your story. We're not here to make you go off. Yeah, yeah, it's it's the the it sounds like you're having a great time with our guests. Yeah. Kids, so man. I'm going to ask a few questions, and if you speak up loudly enough, we might be able to hear you later on with these special little boxes I'm holding in your hands, which save your voice for us to hear later. It doesn't steal your voice, and it's not going to hurt you. Chad, do you see this? Look at that. And what's weird? basically saying that this is just one giant cold spot. Yeah. Again, I'm talking right about there. Big G, which behind is behind us. the camera. Right. Yeah. On the right way. On the right of the screen, that's what I mean. Oh, no, that's just happening all across the screen. Oh, okay. And I'm, I remember, oh, well. I remember it is, that. It is significantly colder in here. No, it's oh. not. No, it's and not. now, You're wrong. we just had somebody Make that like a red. You think it's warm in here? <laughs> I know it's warm in here because the Eddie's telling me it's 61.6 degrees. <laughs> so maybe you're being told, T, that it's not cold in here. It's warm. <laughs> well, we have yeah, like the temperature. Yeah. 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 Those old Civil War time-y people. Can you make the green line go off now? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, back to blue, now you can touch the other side. Make it go green. I didn't yeah, say blue. Make it go green. Yeah, we were being kind of rude. We were saying, yeah. okay, just make it go green. Please. You made the red light go off. Oh, thank you. Thank uh, you. I got my, I got my manners answer. back at that point. Wow. Yeah. Some kids running up and down the stairs. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. Some girls running up and down the stairs. I feel like kids are. Did you hear it? Who's that? Yeah. That, uh, let me let me go ahead and put something, like like something kind of wedged in there. Yeah, yeah. It's it's wedged in there. So you gotta listen for Someone it. Someone running up and down the stairs. I feel like kids are. Yeah. That, uh, yeah. I picked that up as you guys were heading over here. As you were as you guys were getting ready to come over here. Oh, they didn't, they didn't uh, use all their juice on us straight away. We still got a few more hours. They still had the juice. More juice. Yeah, juice. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! There was no more juice. What? <laughs> and then just because right after we picked that up, that was when Simon went off. Uh -huh. And I gotta Simon. say though, I mean. It was Rempatapalooza. It was like, oh, yeah. up there. It was like a dance party up there. They were like, do, 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 the top floor. Running up and down the stairs. I'm trying to think of a time that the top floor has ever been it's quiet. It's never disappointed. It's never yeah, we just did it recently. Yeah, not that I know. Long ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it, we still had great responses. Uh, those kids, up, I think it's kids, because yeah. there's just no, so much going on over there. And, it's, and they're not like afraid to use technology. No, they're like, it adds no. Up. They're it the youths. Yeah. They, they love the to use technology. They love the technology. Well, and in and, and this compilation that, that we had up there, I did want to say that I forgot to mention that the, the very first clip that you see, where, the, where, where Simon goes off on its own, uh, straight out of the bat, we were still setting up. We were <laughs> yeah. still They were impatient up. children as well. Yeah, yeah. Like, come on! Um, which, which, you know, before... Because the second one, you hear Phil doing his his introduction of, you know, we're here, we come out of respect, etc., etc. But even before then, I mean, there are several clips that I've got in here uh, from the top floor where we are still setting yeah. up. So that was a compilation of responses from Simon. Now we get to the new guy on, on the scene. This is Fast Eddie. And before we jump and into we did, Fast yeah. Eddie, just to piggyback on your comments about we were still setting up and things were happening, I mean, the moment that we did the walkthrough and we hit that top floor, you felt it. Mm. Yeah. I mean, you felt energetic. it. Energetic. It was yeah. so energetic. It's, um, yeah, that's, I, I forgot to put that into, into context. I mean, we've been to Jenny Wade what we've been there one two three at least four, four at least four at least times four I can think you, of you were three because you sat I gotta go by one. myself apparently yeah apparently <laughs> but um, I would never do that four, this was our first visit yeah, this was our first, first impressions first impressions of Jenny Wade we're That's seeing them finally impression. tonight so the first compilation was a compilation with Simon with the Flux 2 now we're gonna get to the new player in OSI Fast Eddie or the Eddie Plus and after this episode drops, I believe we either led with or are going to follow up with <laughs> our review from five, in the Five Minute Paranormal, a review of the Eddie Plus. Um, but the Eddie Plus is uh, right here. It is a Swiss Army knife. It has an EMF reader in it. It has a geophone in it. It measures pressure. It measures humidity. So that means there's a barometer and a hydro hygrometer in there, and it measures temperature. And the only one who knows how to use it is T. Because yes, every time we never touch it. Every time it beeps, we're like, "What does that mean?" You're gonna hear that a lot yeah. in this clip. What does that mean? What does that mean? This clip. So anyway, so 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 Fast Daddy is making. Um, this is his second stop with us, and and what I've discovered about Fast Daddy is that whenever you hear a beep, and of course I didn't know it at the time, at least I think I didn't know it at the time, um, when you hear a beep, it means you got an EMF hit of two or higher. Okay. So so that's what you're seeing here, along with, you can also tell because, uh, as you can see, when it records, it pulses like three times. But then when you when you see a slightly brighter pulse, that means it's the... So is the beep only for the EMF, or does it... Only for the EMF. So okay. When it beeps, it's only EMF. Only EMF. Oh, that's good to know. That's good to know. Yep. <laughs> yep. That. yep. Okay, so here we go. Like right there. That basically means that something just hit the EMF reader. How many times do we ask you this? Past T knew how to BS his way through it. You're here with us. Would you mind going up to this blue light, this 
smooth, blinking blue light. And uh, who is signing? You can change color. You just got to get close to it, and you can either make it turn oh, red or green. See, that's the funny thing. I said go up to the blinking blue light. It went back to Eddie. Because it beat, cause it, and it has a blue light. That's and it has a blue light. It's a bigger blue light. Yeah. If you make the light go red, we can have a conversation through these different lights. You just have a different conversation. We can have a simple conversation. Whoop. There it goes again. Yeah. What was that? That was the issue. <laughs> right on cue, Pip. Right on cue. What was that? So the number 630 over there, what does that? Still trying to figure it out. orange light, did you see that? And then the orange light went off, and... That was me. No, I'm cheating. Yeah. That was me. That was pressure. It's an orange light. What does the orange light say? <laughs> the orange light just go off. Yeah. This is why, this no. is why I had this in there. <laughs> so, so here's the thing that I did learn, and I do mention this in the review. When you see changes in pressure or changes in humidity, it means some, there's, a, there's a change in the, uh, in the, in the atmosphere that... In, indicates something is trying to manifest. Mm. Everything I've read, that's what it's saying. Mm -hmm. so humidity and pressure. Humidity and pressure. If if there's if there's an increase in that, it means something is manifesting. And it also, I don't. I and I, I'd love to know if anyone in our viewing audience knows this or not. But uh, I'm curious as to whether or not pressure and humidity can increase when temperature decreases. Because I've seen that happen. Mm. And I, I, I think I tried doing a search on Google and I got lost. You need to find a meteorologist. Yeah, that's yeah. The thing. yeah, yeah. yeah. You need to find a meteorologist. That's that. That would be a help. That would be a help. So this. So we're ending with this clip from the top floor, and Ugh. it is a clip of. Um, it is a compilation clip. It's it's the original, and then after I treated the audio, mm -hmm. and Pip knows which one is coming. Um, this was set up. This, this, yeah. this, this, this is the setup. Okay, we were all getting set up at the time, and I started the. the I mean, we were talking the moment we got there. I set up the camera and I started recording, and you can hear us setting up stuff. Like we're setting out cat balls and things like that. And can here's I just how it goes. Really quick, I don't know why, but I've never noticed that family picture. Oh yeah. Not in, really until now. Oh, yeah, that's always that was the here. family. Uh, if I remember from the from the history. That tour, was the family that lived on because they were the other side. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, they lived before the other Gettysburg. Side. Yeah. Battle of Gettysburg kicked off. Smart. So <laughs> okay, so we're people. so we're all setting up. You got Eddie in the foreground. Listen very closely to the audio. Is that still going off in there, Tina? Hey, Pip, I'm going to hand you the, the cat balls, if that's cool. Do you know I that? would like the cat balls. Tina's feeling like someone would need to go on the bed. Someone needs some cat balls. There you go. You have three cat balls. You mean the bed in there? Uh, yep. Is that still going? So that was the original. I heard that. Oh. That's now, the original. That's, that's the good. original. So I went in and I did the process I was talking about. I isolated the sound, took out the uh, ambient noise that I didn't want, and then I used time stretch to slow it down ever so slightly. Here is the end result. Is that still going off in there, Tina? Hey, Pip, I'm going to hand you the, the cat balls, if that's cool. Tina, I would like the cat balls. Tina's feeling like someone would need to go on the bed. Someone needs some cat balls. Yeah. You yeah. have three cat balls. <laughs> it's not a very you mean pleasant the in there? voice. No, it's not. It is not a fun voice. It, it, yeah, yeah. it was talking to Phil. It was not talking to Phil. It was talking to Phil. Phil. It's not talking to Phil, baby. It was not talking to Phil. Maybe, it was, maybe that voice was just obsessed with cat balls, as apparently I am, because... I couldn't stop talking about cat balls. She has an accent and she likes cats. <laughs> I don't know. Check, check. This particular clip is we moved down to the first floor. Now, hmm. uh, pretty much consistently, the first floor has always been kind of quiet. Which is so quiet. weird because that's where she was actually but shot. That's, but that's the thing. I feel like the energy that we feel on the top is the kids. Mm -hmm. I don't think they want to go down there knowing that's where she's shot. Right. I feel like everyone kind of... Like respectfully, but, like, but like... But remember... I did say that I was going to be including some of the comedy of the weekend and... Oh, uh, okay. Comedy and happens on the middle go. floor. <laughs> but you also get an idea of the silence. Yeah. Of, of it is actually very quiet there once at night. Right. Does Big G tell you different? Is, do you see anything forming with Big G? I haven't, I haven't seen anything lighting up on the top bar. No, but there's nothing on the GF bar. I like that. We're gonna move on in a few minutes, so if there's any message you'd like us to pass along, now would be a perfect time to tell us.
Ah. Can you can you uh, vibrate that, please? One time you got your phone on with what is that? That was that? Was that? Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, it was Pip's phone. No, that was one that time. That's okay. We have this. We have this problem in the I house. I can say no. Morris's are the ones with the phones. Going yeah, we do, we do have a phone problem. Pip is constantly losing her phone, and I'm like, well, let me call it. No bother. Why? It's on vibrate. The one time it isn't on vibrate, <laughs> and and it goes off at the same time Simon went off. I nearly had a heart attack. But my phone didn't cause that, right? No, 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 no. Your phone did not cause that. Your phone did not cause. Phone stuff has ever caused. Um, not with Simon. Not with Simon. No, I mean, Simon. you'd have to be real close. Yeah. The only time we've ever had, and you you uh, you missed this at at the reveal with the candy factory. The only time we've ever had an interference, and we have to really be on this, is walkie-talkies and the REM pod. Yeah. yeah. Or walkie-talkies in the Mexican restaurant. That too. <laughs> <laughs> or walkie-talkies. Or actually, no, I don't know. I could have no used my walkie-talkie to for a margarita. Yeah. Yeah. The candy factory and the live mariachi band. Give us a sign. It's the best sign ever. The ghosts bring in a margarita. We get in. Yes. Yes, yes, me go. All right. So now we're in the basement mm. of the Jenny Wade house. And I feel like we have already shown this clip to so many people. Yeah, it's a great clip. But this was this was the game changer for the four of us and for OSI and for why, you know, when people ask why do we stream our events, this is why. Here it is. It's the the, the magic clip from the basement. Here we go. Mm. So, Jack, you are upset that Wesley fought for Virginia, fought against his own people from Gettysburg. That must have been aggravating. Did, 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 did you just whisper? Did you just whisper? I said, do you need a light tea? Did, no, no, before you said that, did you whisper? No. Because I could have sworn I heard a voice whisper. I either said, I hate you, or... Good no, ears, Phil. Not only did you hear it, exactly. we all heard it. Yeah. And even Stream heard it. Even Stream heard it. Yeah. We were in the car listening to it on the way back and yep. we could hear it straight off the bat. It was it was it was the right. first time right. and, and you know, and I, we have shown this clip to so many people, and it's nice to finally share it, like officially. You know, like 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 in the show. Mm -hmm. And what's interesting about the basement? The basement was where they kept her body, correct? Yep. They um, after Jenny had been shot, they went through the roof uh, across to the other side of the sort of I guess you would say the duplex yeah. down, and then they went into the root cellar basically, and it was. Uh, Jenny's body, her sister, the baby her sister had just given birth to, her mother and two of her smaller uh, brothers, and I think maybe a couple of soldiers, like a couple of Union soldiers as well. They have um, a painting. They have that, a painting that, down there, which is really the weird. I, I, I must You've must never noticed that? that? There's a painting yeah, down there. Yes. Yeah, it's down there. Mm -hmm. It's down there. And then they've got also they've got a uh, uh, a body a body underneath yeah, under, a blanket. Yeah. But yeah. her body was it, it was not it, so it was there and then they buried it in the yard. Yeah. And then they right. zoomed it and then buried it again. Did they move it one more time? I think they did. They moved it up to the uh, cemetery. I think. Yeah. yeah. From, it went. Oh yeah. Time. So they buried her in the garden. Then they buried her in the church. Then they moved her and buried her up in the graveyard. But it's in. But it's in the current graveyard where they uh, erected the flag. Yeah. And yeah. she is the only they civilian. Gave her, they gave her all that sort of yeah. honors. They gave her but the she honors. was. I think they were down there for three days mm -hmm. with her uh, with her body. Yeah. Gosh. And and it was it's gruesome. I know. And it was. But I mean, it was that that right there. Um, that happened first, and of course, later on in this season, we're going to talk about the second time that happened to us, which was at Linville Manor. But I remember all, all of us were just like, okay, did we all just experience that? Because I remember when it happened. I think that was the first time that I was like, you know, my usual thing is when something like that happens, my brain's like, right, I'm going to make up 
a completely well, you irresponsible reason for that. Yeah. Oh, you try to justify. You try. Yeah. My brain well, always yeah. goes that's, straight that's, to justification. Any brain's like normal program. Yes, right. like oh, that like, must have been oh. Tina sighing, yeah. or that must have been maybe I misheard that, or just like know. when you feel something, you're like, oh, it was static. Oh, it was a web. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But but even definitely. I have that program. I had I, I I quickly I quickly you know control alt delete and cancel yeah. that. Had <laughs> to go. Phil, something just is is my hood caught on something here? in the hospice at Crescent. Yeah. No tea, it's not. Tea, or really, just tell me there is something. <laughs> Phil, are you lifting me or am I levitating? <laughs> Phil, play Kate Bush now. <laughs> so the, the clips that I have from, from the basement, they're all at this level. Yeah. They're all at this level. I, I Because we, we did so, we experienced so much and did so many different things in this basement yeah. by the light of Simon, as you see. Um, and even even Spence says in, in, in this per current clip, I could feel the silence mm. from here. Because you're underground yeah. and it's nighttime, yeah. so there's not much traffic. It was but, it was it dark. heavy. But this was this was Phil's debut trigger object. I've and I've oh, always loved this. Love this, yeah. Good job, Phil. And you see, at that time, we had established, oh, yes, green for yes, red for yeah. We had established that. Or thank you. Yeah, so thank you. So I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I love Randy's reaction. Uh, <laughs> it's fair, it, the, When you play music, and this happened also in the candy factory on the piano, when you were playing the mm -hmm. piano there, there is, it just feels like there's a change in atmosphere, almost like there's a change in time. I feel like there's Oh, a interesting. Yeah, like... Like when you know, when I was listening to you play that, oh, it was wow. like a, it was like a, I could almost feel the Civil War times. Um, and again, we're we're but and, and that helps because it's like it's we're in darkness and it's it's almost like you're around a campfire. Mm -hmm. It's well, a very comfortable feeling. Well, I was saying the watering hole. The That's hole. all I say. Yeah. Fishing hole. Whatever. Well, and he just looked at me like I was like, no, don't tell no, where it is. I'm, I'm saying like, the cats out. The cats out of the bag no, as the airing of this hole. as the airing of this episode. The cat, is, the cat is officially out of the bag. I'm just saying fishing hole. <laughs> well, what, I, what I'm no. telling you is the hole now has a name. No. Because the episode oh, no. came out before this one. The candy factory, they're already, they're already out of the, the fishing hole. Yeah, they did. No, just put some OSI logo on that. <laughs> and bleep it out. I am not going to do it on people who pay who pay, who P A Y us to come to their place. Okay? Ah, ah, when they break it and give away our, our <laughs> well, except it's not that it's called, secret. That's right. It really isn't. It's editing. <laughs> anyway, um, then I caught this clip, and I can't remember if I shared this with you all or not. Um, I have boosted the sound just a little bit so you can make, just to make sure you can hear it from the from the television. But um, is yeah. that them saying Phil? I thought that was one of you. Uh, that was uh, we we were talking at that time we were talking about the whisper. Okay, we were talking I was about like, the whisper. I don't, I don't what? <laughs> and but, but in this clip, in this clip we have moved on. In this clip we moved on, and um, I don't think we'll ever move on from that. Guy. But keep in mind, we were talking about who was down there with Jenny. Mm -hmm including uh, Jenny's sister and her newborn baby. Keep that in mind. And a device right there. Yeah, that's what I thought maybe that's what I like. If you don't feel like Do making the lights go uh, red and green over here, you can touch one of these. Doesn't it lets know you're here. Oh, they're balls, they're toys. Yeah. And they make the best colors. If you want, we can turn all the lights out so you can just light up the room with the beautiful rainbow of colors, because who doesn't love a rainbow? Who doesn't love a rainbow? We're getting close to 51 degrees. That, that's a 10 degree drop since we've been here. Yeah. 10 degree drop. I 
think it's important that you know that with you having a time. That wasn't me. Yeah, wasn't but I Jeff. love whenever there's humming. You guys are like, so what are you humming? I'm like, what are you humming? Like, why? Am I just like, I don't know, maybe nerves, maybe? No, we know better. I don't think we've ever, I don't think I've ever felt or we had any indication that Jenny herself was down there. No, no but other no, parties. Other people were. Other parties, yeah. Her father, down there. Jack. Jack. I, no, no, wait, no, I disagree. We, we did feel like we had Jenny there because we were talking about Wesley. Oh, you yeah. You mentioned Jack and you mentioned Wesley. And I thought I thought that was a female voice that mm. responded with... Was it the first time or the... Okay. Really? Oh, I really? thought that was Jack. I thought that was you Jack. You thought that was Jack? I, was, I always thought that was Jenny at this point. So no, that's I, just like, I don't think Jenny would have necessarily said that she hated Wesley. I don't know. No. Mm. I would okay, have thought Jack, Jack maybe... Uh, mm. So... To close out our stay at the Jenny Wade House, this is my favorite of all the clips. Really? Okay. From Jenny after Wade. the humming and the disembodied voice? After the humming, voice? after the disembodied voice, okay. after the harmonica. Okay, it better be something and, crazy. And, 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 and you know what? I give, I give all respect to Tino on this one. I give all respect to Tino This is why this is why this is. Do I get like a star of my face yeah. in the camera? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll see why, you'll see why I, I am giving you full, full props all on right. this one. I'm going ahead and ask it again, Jack. Don't keep us in suspense now. Don't keep us in suspense, just tell me. Straight up. Did you love Jenny Wade? Green for yes, red for no. Mad prop star saying? tour guy. James? James. 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 You go there, ask for James. We all have, ask we all for James. Have, we all have James. Down moments. That's my favorite clip, though. <laughs> for, for, I don't know. I like that song. That, 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 that soft little couple's weekend. You know? <laughs> <laughs> And it then, was a good and, time and then to basically. back it up with your gentleman Jack Red. <laughs> Am I? Am I? Mm. <laughs> he was a soldier. Right? I mean, I mean. So these are these are. I, I believe I. I think I can't made the count. At fourteen. These are fourteen out of fifty clips mm -hmm. that, that that we got from from Gettysburg and. I feel like you get more <sighs> clips when the wives are around. I know. I, it's like, not just it. Get it, and the, the only the, appropriate response to that is absolutely. Of course, of course you're absolutely right. <laughs> it's, I, I just find Gettysburg is, it just never quits. I mean, we, we said that in season one, we're saying that in season two, and we're go, we, go back to, we go back to Gettysburg at least three times this season. Yeah. Just because every time we go, we get another another hit, something there's, new. There's so much to explore there. Yeah. I mean, there was, I mean, we, have, we, we haven't have, been we everywhere. Have, yeah, we barely... Oh. Touched touched it, yeah. yeah, but the problem is now because of you two, we have found Antietam, <sighs> and we gotta, we gotta. Wait, 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 wait. We, ha we have. <laughs> I said, I said <laughs> because of you two, because, because of you two, two. No. Yes, because of you two, we have to go. We have to go. To, yeah, we have to go Antietam and see Antietam tomorrow. Let's go, <laughs> and Antietam. Go. Well, see, okay, an hour and a half away. And this was how couples. Joking. And this was how couples' uh, weekend. You should think she's joking. I don't I'm not, laughing. I'm I did not, not say she was joking. But yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> uh, and how many of you are editing this this episode as well as the Candy Factory episode? That's what I thought. Okay, back to you it. Do you want me to slap? <laughs> do you want us to premiere on the date we've been promising? <laughs> I do, and I'm going to give you more content. To get in the fucking car. <laughs> <laughs> Some pancakes. Ever since, see, the, ever uh, since, pancakes. ever since. Oh, pancakes. I know. We go to brunch. We do brunch. I drive us up. This is how it goes, everybody. This is how Man, it goes. some great TikToks I, and YouTube shorts. I submit shorts. time arrive over here with 738. That's right. here at 716. So we, so we're, we're kind of, we didn't mean to, but we kind of have segued into the takeaways from this. Mm. When we look back on this couple's weekend, apart from, apart from 
we're gonna have to do this again. Yes. The, mm. the the real the, the I guess I guess I, I really want to feel like I've been uh, I've been wanting to get you two on the show. Usually you're you're the you're the unseen we're the peanut gallery, gallery. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but now 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 this is where I felt like you two really got into it, and I know this was I felt like this was a baptism by fire for you, and you've been getting. You've been getting you, you, you're like you're like the OSI Marcus. You're the you're the OSI Marcus. <laughs> With each investigation, you just get braver and braver and braver. Is that what you feel, or is it different for you? Uh, like Marcus Brody? <laughs> no, not Marcus Jones. Brody. No, from Marcus from uh, from Ghost, Ghost Brothers. Brothers. Oh, like Marcus would get lost in his own. Now that's the people we need to collab with. We need to collab with Marcus. We love you, Marcus. We love our Ghost Brothers. If I'm Marcus, I'm happy with that. But I mean, but that's the thing. When you when you watch Marcus in the in, in the early Ghost Ghost Brothers, no, he's, he he's brave, but he tells it as it is, just like I would say. Oh hell no! I'm yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's right. Just like I said with TWA, no, you're right. You don't go back. However, that. That if Marcus you've been Ross. watching him, particularly when you when you saw him walking around the plantation, he's like, man, what am I doing walking around a plantation at night? I know he and, calls it as it right, is. But then he put it out there when he Second went to season, Waverly. He really yeah. ramped. Yeah. He yeah. really ramped it up, and I'm proud of him. But and, and that's the way I look at it with you. But where do you see yourself in this whole par- uh, paranormal journey? I think Gettysburg is my comfortable place. There are some places I really like to go and enjoy going to, and I feel like I have some connection there. Now what about, um, now what about and what about you, Tina? I mean, I feel I know you've done stuff with Phil, but this was like the first time we actually went out as like OSI. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, totally. So, what about you? I, well, like I tell Pip, I feel like we're again my perspective, everyone to their own, but I feel like we are opening things more and more as far as being able to be open to these other energies, entities, whatever you want to call it. Gettysburg, I feel different things. Like, I feel I feel the sadness. I feel the joy of the children from the orphanage, mm-hmm. just from their happy memories. Mm-hmm. Again, it's it's different to each their own. But to me, I, like we talk about all the time, I, I feel the people that are there. Mm-hmm. So what about, so, so where would you all, I, I know for my takeaway, this brought back all the memories because because uh, that was such a great weekend in Gettysburg. It was our first time in the Jenny Wade House, mm-hmm. first time we'd hit Devil's Run, um, and we walked back with all this. I just remember hearing that uh, it was a long day. You know, with that with that draw, yeah, yeah. I was just like, yeah. "What? What is it? What is it? Gettysburg? We can't quit you." But it's also that yeah. that what did we do to get so lucky, mm-hmm. Phil, to get these captures? I think here it is, right here. Yeah, I just honestly. <laughs> You know, I really think it is intent? being open and the intent, intent. Open. and we'll talk about that but in five-minute paranormal. But but oh, but go going, but but I did want to say yeah. I'm I'm now itching to, to go somewhere else in Gettysburg. I really want to see the other side of the Jenny Wade House. I want to I want to investigate the Barnsworth Inn. Well, there's still also because many that's where the that's where the sniper was. Yeah. yeah, but there's also still plenty. There's the wheat oh, field, the, oh, the orchard, wheat, the orchard, and all that. Yeah, but but specifically, oh, so the like, Farnsworth you know, House. Yeah. I really want to get into the Farnsworth Inn. I want to look at the Farnsworth House. I want to see what the energy is there because if the if the energy is the way it is at the Jenny Wade House, I'd like to know from where the shot came from what the energy but, is But like I say, <clears throat> go into any place not expecting anything, because I think if you go with an expectation of wanting something, that's mm. already going to turn off that energy. Mm. And if you go in not expecting anything, but keeping yourself open, you're going to get a different It's just so sense. hard to do that in Gettysburg. <laughs> it's <laughs> hard for you. It is. Okay, it's hard for me to do that again. Hey, look, I went. I, I try so hard every, every time we go to Jenny Wade, I go, I'm not going to, I mean, I'm just going to chill. I'm just going to chill. Know, but then look at how we get the responses. Well, I mean, I, I, I immediately go to Steve. Right. And what you caught on the Fleer. Yeah. And, you know, it just, yeah. it, that, that kind of stuff was just, and Whoa. Steve still talks about that, you know, yeah. which, again, which we'll talk about later in this season. Which is great, but if you go in, like, expecting that and then it doesn't happen, then you're like, oh. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm, I, I would say, and that's another takeaway that I'm finding out more and more the, the deeper we get into this, is... Whenever I walk away from something, I know you've all heard me say it, where I go, eh, not, not really what happened. <laughs> then I look at the evidence and I'm like, oh, oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, I feel like I got 20 some odd clips. But, Don't worry, I'll narrow it this down. That's the thing, though. You go in it and not much is happening, but what do you not do? You don't taunt. You don't do these things that are disrespectful. No, no. And that is a different takeaway. Well, yeah, You're going to get it yeah. not realizing it. 
but they're going to respond because you're being respectful of their space. What yeah. about you, Phil? <laughs> so, I mean, I love Gettysburg. Uh, it has, you know, singular energy to it. There are so many stories to be told from Gettysburg, uh, and it just feels comfortable mm. going there. So thanks, everybody, for joining us for this first ever Couples Weekend. And yeah, there's going to be another one of these next year. Where and when, I have no idea. Maybe we'll with the guest appearance of Pedro Pascal. We can hope. <laughs> Hashtag Pedro Pascal. <laughs> <laughs> on, and uh, yeah, on, uh, on, I'm trying to think of what I was going to say. I know, all you can think about is Pedro, Pedro Pascal right now. If you enjoy the content that we uh, have on this channel, or if you make enjoy sure Pedro to <laughs> make sure to like and subscribe, <laughs> enable notifications so when we are dropping content, you'll be the first to know about it. Thank and you, Pedro for Pascal. Coming. If you're out there, like and subscribe and enable. Come on, come on, uh, come on, investigation with us. We'll be good. And from <laughs> all of us here at OSI, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you, Pedro Pascal, in, in the, the field. field. <laughs>